Dr. Mahmoud Suhail, it's a pleasure to have you with us again. Yes. Can you share with us what's been going on at the Young Living Oman farm and distillery during the past year? Many things happened in Oman, Young Living Oman farm in Salala, southern of Sultanate of Oman, southern of Arabia, last year. We've been able to increase the capacity of production of Botswana Sacra essential oil up to 400 percent to meet the requirement of new young living essential oil markets in Europe, Japan and Australia. And to start production of food grade Botswana Sacra powder for the new products of young living essential oil exclusively. And to start hydro distillation of Comifora Mera from Arabia exclusively for young living uh, for a new product hopefully coming next year. As you've been performing medical research with Oman Frankincense, what can you tell us about the certification and research that's gone into verifying the only species of frankincense that grows in Oman? Yes, as a requirement of the medical research recording and case study recording of what we are doing on Boswala Sacra effect on many cancer cell lines in lab and some preclinical trials in Oman conducted right now, we had to first to document and just to make sure the botanical species of Boswala that we are using. Well, absolutely there is no other species than Boswala Sacra in Oman based on all official records there my personal observation and other scientists observation and that was very important for us since we were in need to document this exact species we are using in the medical research and in the botanical research at the same way. Officially all plants in Dufar state and in Oman have been documented in one resource, in one source, in one textbook which has been sponsored by his Majesty Sultan Kabus bin Said personally and it's called Plants of Dufar and as per those documents Boswala Sacra is the only species that grow in Oman among all Boswala. No Boswala Freeriana, no Boswala Carteri grows in Oman, absolutely. Could you share with us some of your medical research goals with Boswala Sacra? The medical research on influence of Boswala Sacra and to understand it more and discover the, how does it work on cancer cells in the lab working with HK Lin in Oklahoma Medical Science University clinically which is already conducted now in Dufar State in Oman and chemistry wise and, and understanding more the chemistry of the uh, Boswala Sacra and the uh, GCMS analysis required and next HPLC uh, 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 test required conducted by uh, Gary Young Research and Discovery Department in Young Living and I'd like to thank Gary Young for his decent sponsorship of the research in a way that preserved the integrity and independence, independency of the research. It's meant only for one single motivation which is to know it's not meant for commercial motivation. A commercial business has nothing to do with the medical aspect of the research itself. Would you tell us about the medical research goals you have with Omani Frankincense and the support you've received? Just an example, uh, I'd been working with HK for two years without meeting him personally or talking by phone. I was in Oman and he's in Oklahoma and everything was running right but extremely slow and just by just because of Young Living and the support of Gary Young and Cole Woolley we were able to meet and push the research forward in a tremendous speed. Would you share with us the history of your medical research with Dr. H.K. Lin and how it has progressed? In a brief, what we were doing last year and we are still doing in Boswala Sacra medical research, it's biologically guided 
extraction of Boswala sacra to find out optimum way variables of its extraction and how does it work on many cancer cell lines in lab that's with HK lab Oklahoma Medical Science University and on patients in a preclinical trial conducted right now in Oman and North and some North African countries like Egypt. Can you share with us some recent examples of preclinical results for cancer patients using Boswellia sacra? Two of the most interesting cases, cancer cases, that I got the opportunity and we got the opportunity to treat using Boswellia sacra extract was the first was an adenocarcinoma case with uh, a primary lesion in the ascending colon metastasized to liver and hepatobiliary tract with some peritoneal uh, uh, fossae of metastasis, uh, ascites, lymph nodes, periaortic lymph nodes. Uh, for example, the carcinoma embryonic antigen was 210 international unit per milliliter. Just for your knowledge, the normal range is 5 to 10 international unit per milliliter. When it's more than 10, I mean 10 to 20, it's a high diagnostic criteria of you are having a cancer. And if it's more than 20, that means metastasis is for sure. Carcinoma embryonic antigen declined from 210 to 18 in exactly 16 days. And we get rid of the uh, metastatic fossae within less than 21 days and the primary tumor underwent necrosis and shrinked in size to disappear in about three in about additional three to four weeks. One of the most recent cases uh, we were able to deal with using Boswellia sacra extract was a breast cancer stage 4 patient. Surprisingly, the, the primary tumor, which was 9.5 by 12.5 by 11 centimeter in the left breast, just underwent necrosis, shredding off over five to eight weeks, leaving just a malignant ulcer. Biopsies conducted in Oman, in Muscat Royal Hospital, in Oklahoma, Medical Science and University by Carmen Fong, the PhD pathologist there, and a third clinic in Salala, south of Oman, proved that by histopathology study, the tumor is no more alive. And in fact, all biopsies were negative of having any malignancy after the patient was on Boswellia sacra extract biopsies taken from six parts, six locations in, in, in the primary tumor proved that it's negative, I mean no more malignant cells. Metastasis start to disappear from the second week, particularly in the sequence of bone metastasis disappear first, then liver metastasis, then third lung metastasis. Surprisingly, metastasis disappeared before even the primary tumor. Primary tumor underwent necrosis while uh, the secondary lesions, the metastasis lesion, just shrink in size and disappear. The new thing that we come to know is while the tumor underwent necrosis, it just increased in size. So following up patients by uh, imaging techniques only is not enough to assess the progress and the improvement of the patient using Boswellia sacra extract. It's important and crucial to rely on biomarkers, imaging, and uh, biochemical analysis as well. Dr. Suhail, with your great medical background, how did you get started into your research dealing with uh, Boswellia sacra? Uh, my story with frankincense, in fact, didn't start with a cancer patient or a cancer research. It started with a story. It was about um, one patient named Ayub, and the coincidence was 
that he got a disease, the same disease, the same skin disease that affected the Prophet Ayyub, job in English, which, which was mentioned in details in Quran. In Quran it was mentioned that when Ayyub got sick, he just laid down by some tree and water source and he moved his legs as if he was running to get something that he can drink and apply on his skin. For some time we believed that was water, even though water wasn't mentioned. An idea just came to my mind to test trees just nearby his place, Boswala Sacra trees. And I've tested that on the patient that coincidentally have the same name, Ayub, who got ichthyosis. Boswala Sacra essential oil taken orally with topical application was able to get rid of 90% of the symptoms and signs of ichthyosis of Ayub in 16 to 20 days. And total cure, I can say, total cure was possible in six to seven weeks. How did this affect Ayub's life? Uh, Ayub life changed because now he can show to public, he can go shopping. I mean, he was hidden home for life, probably, for his, for his all 27 years of life. In, in, in a couple of months, he was able to show in public, to merge into the culture. Uh, uh, his, and the most important, he was psychologically much, much more better. So uh, he got married, he, he made a family, so he was normal back again. How did Ayub's experience change your life? It's my, uh, my, my primary motivation. If I can get one more Ayub, it will be even more than great. Will you share with us your hopes for the future medical research with Baswalya Sacra Frankincense? My hopes, and I, I assume that it's the hopes of the whole research group and our uh, prospectation, is to get soon into a preclinical trial done and uh, a documented clinical trial and, the, and get the medicine, an organic, natural remedy to treat cancer or at least to help cancer patients in a reasonable cost, uh, affordable by everyone. I mean, and, and I mean everyone in this globe, by everyone. Affordable by the poorest person, poorest human on earth. And uh, I just hope we can make it. But I believe we will.